Lord, it's going to be so cool. You're going to appear in the sky. And the bride of Christ is going to be caught up off the earth. The dead in Christ will rise first. Then those of us that are still alive when you come, when you're appearing, will be caught up. But we'll all be transformed within a blink of an eye. Caught up into the clouds to be with Jesus forever. You know, and the cool thing is, is that you are claiming the earth. The earth is yours. You're going to come and put your foot on it and do away with everything that's evil. You can do away with it and set your kingdom up in a millennial reign, which is a thousand year reign, where, where those of us that have um, our names written in the Lamb's Book of Life will reign with you for those thousand years. Those that are in the first resurrection, actually, is what it says. Those that are in the first resurrection. Yeah, those that, those that have came out of the tribulation that didn't receive the mark of the beast and, um, and worship the beast, and those that... Um, and the martyrs, because those are, they're in the first resurrection. The martyrs and those that, that came out of the tribula great tribulation that didn't receive the mark of the beast, they're going to reign with Jesus a thousand years on this earth while Satan's locked up in a in the pit for a thousand years and evil and all that stuff is. And get that, that's cool. That's going to be cool. And then, after that, then there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. Man, what a great, great promises we have. Jesus, you know, the disciples, the apostles, disciples, however you want to put them, the apostle, disciple, dudes, you're dudes, man, you're 12 dudes, man, they asked you, well, you know, some stuff, in Matthew 24, you can read it, you know, when is your sign, sign of your appearing, when are you going to come back, what is it going to be like when you come back, and all that, and you started talking to them, and then after you ascended into heaven, you finished it off with the writings of the apostles all the way into um, the apostles and prophets, because the apostles did prophesy, they prophesied, the Apostle Paul, Peter, and Jude, and James all prophesied, and John, all actually John too, all prophesied about the, the in the last days, wherever you read, in the last days, these these things will happen, or these things, or these people will come, or these things will happen, or there'll be false teachers in the last days. Wherever you read that at in the New Testament, it's prophecy, pay attention to it. And where you hear this, where you hear Jesus say, to him who has an ear, let him hear, he sums it up in the book of Revelation, to him who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches, you know. So anyway, yeah, get that one. He's saying there's only goodness to the church. It's all goodness to the world. If you're not saved, I'm sorry, you're already condemned. It already says Jesus said those are his own words. The word of God itself is the, is, is the judge. It's not people. It's not us. We're telling you the way to get out of, out of the, the, the kingdom of darkness and out of the way of God's wrath. And, and y'all are stepping on our, you know, stepping on us thinking that we're doing the bad thing when we're doing the right thing. We're saving your soul from hell because that's what's promised to those that are in, you know, uh, in his kingdom, in Satan's kingdom. But those that are promised, those that are in God's kingdom are promised eternal life. And God is not a liar. God is awesome. Jesus is wonderful. He's great. Praise you, God. Thank you, Father God. Wow. <laughs> so, there's only two ways. The way of the world, Satan, flesh, the devil, the world goes like a fire, goats, sons of disobedience, like a fire, left side, right side, sons, the sons of your righteousness, the sons, your planting, the planting of the Lord, which are the sons of God, they're on the right side, they're the sheep that go into eternal life, the other go to the, now, which one do you want to be? Do you want to be a goat or a sheep? 
Now, there, there's things here, too. You, you have to give up a lot to be a sheep. You have to give up being a goat, for one thing. You have to give up yourself. You have to give up your own life and your own way of doing things. Actually, Proverbs 3, 5, 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways. He'll direct your path. And Jesus said um, these words, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And when you read what He was talking about, what's added, it's everything you need for life. So you, and God will totally take care of you. That's what it says in the Word, and he, and he will. God is faithful. Amen. Amen. All right, now a lot of what I just said you can read in the book of Revelations. You can read in the, the New Testament from the book of Matthew to the book of Revelations. You can all read it all in there. A lot of it you can read in the book of Revelations and in the Gospels. And um, so there you go. Yeah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Just keep watch over this word and... and Help people to make the right choice, to decide to choose you, to say yes to your plan of salvation. Jesus, you come to each man and you offer salvation through the gospel. It's through the good work of Jesus, through the good news of Jesus. You do to all men. And I ask that you would yeah, that, these, that anybody that hears this message would receive salvation through you, Jesus, would receive eternal life through you, would receive you and receive eternal life. Because it's by grace that we are saved through faith. In Jesus' name. And it's in Jesus' name, too. There's only one name given under heaven, which man must be saved, that God gave it, and it's Jesus, the Son of God. It's Jesus of Nazareth. That Jesus is the one. Amen. Shalom.